hello friends in this video we are going to do some task in kale for 8051 microcontroller so in the problem statement we have write a C program using interrupts to do the following things so first of all A is saying that receive data serially and send it to P0 the B says that read the port p1 transmit data serially and give a copy to p2 and third c says that make timer zero to create a square wave of 5 kilohertz frequency on p0.1 and assume that crystal frequency is this and set the baud rate of 4800 so first of all let's start with the header file then i am taking uh, p0.1 on which we want to generate a square wave of 5 kilohertz then I have taken a, an another pin on port 3 for deciding whether I want to send data serially or receive data serially because at the same time we can't do the both the things and then I have taken an integer my data for storing my data then let's see the main program so in the main program first of all we are defining the t mode i am using timer 0 mode 2 for generating 5 kilohertz and timer 1 for setting the baud rate and then i have defined scon as 50 for enabling serial reception and transmission then i have loaded th1 in th1 i have loaded fa which is setting baud rate to 4800 and if you want to set the baud rate 9600 then you have to load fd here then i am loading a4 to th0 for creating 5 kilohertz frequency okay and then i am starting the timer 0 and this is the ia interrupt enable register in this i I am loading 92 x value so what is 9 basically 1001 and 2 is 0010 0, 0, 0. so this the eighth bit of the i is uh, enable disables all the interrupts first and then this bit this one enables the serial interrupt and this bit enables the timer zero interrupt so in the while one we are uh, doing the copy of p1 port to p2 and let's now move to the subroutines so here the timer 0 subroutine we are inverting it for generating a square wave and in the serial 0 interrupt 4 which is interrupt 4 yes see uh, timer 0 is the interrupt 1 and serial for serial interrupt it is the number 4 now we have taken a TIRI a, a bit for enabling reception and transmission so if TR, TIRI is 1 then we will transmit our data to the serial port and if my TIRI is 0 in the else part we will receive the data from the uh, serial port so here what I have done I am enabling the transmission of serial port then whatever will be in the p1 will be more copy into my data and this my data will be then signed to the s buff and continuously till ti is 0 we will check that and transmit it continuously then we are doing here in the else part we are reception part and we are receiving something so we are enabling the i bit here one then whatever in the s buff we will copy it in my data and then the my data will be copied to the port p1 and then we will disable the ri bit so let's run the program and see what happens 
so now we are in the run mode so you can see here the bit of pin port 0 for one bit is continuously toggling and in the next subroutine serial subroutine in the right now my TIRIB is 0 so you can see in the serial window it is in the reception mode so whatever input will come from the serial port will be displayed on port P1 as we have defined in this here so you will be not be able to see but uh, right now I am uh, I am put, uh, pressing caps A from my keyboard and you will be able to see in the port 1 whatever will be the value ASCII value of A so it is 41 now I am pressing caps B so it is 42 caps C it is 43 now let's receive the bits from the serial board so sorry let's transmit the bit the whatever it is in the port P1 will be transmitted to this serial board so let's do it so you can see it is 43 and C is transmitting to the serial board now let's make it B so it is P42 you can see the P is transmitting right now and let's make it, make it A so it is A you can see here so this is how it works so thank you for watching the video